Imagine a world without cars, buses, or trucks. Tough, isn't it? Well, thanks to Nicholas August Otto, we don't have to. A name perhaps not as familiar as Edison or Bell, but Otto's contribution to the world is far from insignificant. Born in the year 1832, Otto spent his early years in the humble town of Holzhausen, Germany, a world away from the Industrial Revolution he would one day spark. As a young man, Otto was not particularly distinguished, yet his curiosity and relentless spirit set him apart. The son of a farmer, he found himself drawn to the intricate mechanics of machinery, a fascination that would lead him to invent the internal combustion engine, an invention that would forever change the face of transportation. Little did young Otto know, his name would one day be synonymous with the revolution of transportation. Otto was not born into a family of inventors or scientists, but rather merchants. His early life was shaped not by the hum of machinery or the allure of scientific discovery, but by the bustling commerce of a merchant's life. Born in 1832 in Holzhausen and Erheid, Germany, Nikolaus August Otto started his life journey in a world far removed from the invention that would later bear his name. As a young man, Otto entered the world of commerce following in his family's footsteps. He worked as a merchant, trading in various goods, honing his business acumen and learning the ins and outs of the market. But Otto was not merely a merchant, he was a man with a curious mind and a thirst for knowledge. In a world where formal education was a privilege, Otto took it upon himself to learn about the natural sciences. He was particularly drawn to the study of gas engines. Delving into this field, he began to see the limitations of the existing technology. The steam engines of his time were inefficient, consuming excessive amounts of coal and water. The world was in need of a more efficient, more practical engine. With this understanding, Otto embarked on a journey of invention. He was not a trained engineer or scientist, but his passion for learning and his innate curiosity propelled him forward. He began to experiment, to create, to innovate. His initial attempts at building a gas engine were, in many ways, a series of trials and errors. There were failures and setbacks, moments of disappointment and frustration. But Otto was not a man to be deterred by failure. Each setback was a lesson learned, each failure a stepping stone towards success. His persistence was fueled by the vision of a more efficient engine, an engine that could revolutionize the world of machinery. Despite numerous failures and challenges, Otto's determination didn't waver, setting the stage for a breakthrough that would change the world. His journey was just beginning and the road ahead was fraught with challenges. But Otto was ready to face them, armed with his unwavering determination and his vision of a better future. In 1876, Otto achieved something extraordinary. You see, our man of the hour, Nicholas August Otto, had an idea that was set to transform the world as they knew it. He was tinkering with the concept of the internal combustion engine. But not just any engine. He was envisioning one that would operate on a four-stroke cycle. In layman's terms, a four-stroke engine is like a little dance of fuel and air. It begins with the intake stroke, where the piston moves down to let in a mix of fuel and air. As the piston moves back up in the compression stroke, this mixture is compressed, making it more volatile. Then comes the power stroke, where a spark ignites the compressed mixture, causing an explosion that pushes the piston down and gives power to the engine. Finally, in the exhaust stroke, the piston moves back up, pushing the exhaust gases out and making room for fresh fuel and air. Now, this might sound simple to us, but back in the late 19th century, Otto's design was nothing short of revolutionary. It was efficient, it was reliable, and most importantly, it could be powered by gasoline, a fuel that was becoming more and more accessible. This invention, ladies and gentlemen, was the dawn of a new era. It brought motorized transport to the masses, making distances shorter and the world a little smaller. Horses and carriages were gradually replaced by cars and trucks. The hum of engines became a familiar sound in cities and towns, signaling progress, signaling change. But it wasn't just transportation. Otto's engine found its way into factories, into power plants, into ships. It became an integral part of the Industrial Revolution, driving machines that produced goods faster and in larger quantities than ever before. In short, Otto's invention wasn't just an engine. It was a key that unlocked a future we now take for granted, a future where we have the world at our fingertips, all thanks to the power of motorized transport. Like a spark that starts a fire, Otto's invention ignited the age of motorized transportation. Otto's invention didn't just stay in the lab, it changed the world. 
The four-stroke engine, an innovation that powered the world into a new era, is the legacy of Nicholas August Otto. The Otto engine, as it's commonly known, is the beating heart of our modern transportation system. It ignited a revolution that transformed our world and how we move within it. His invention is the bedrock of the internal combustion engine, a technology that has powered our cars, trucks and motorcycles for over a century. Otto's engine was a groundbreaking innovation that propelled the development of modern automobiles. Before Otto, vehicles were either horse-drawn or steam-powered, but his engine changed all of that. The power, efficiency and compactness of Otto's engine made it possible to build lighter, faster and more reliable vehicles. These vehicles in turn revolutionised transportation, allowing people and goods to move across distances quickly and affordably. This transformed societies, economies and even our landscapes. Our cities, highways and industries are all shaped by the mobility Otto's engine enabled. But the Otto engine's influence extends beyond automobiles. It's found in many forms and places, from power generators to marine vessels, from industrial machinery to agricultural equipment. It's a testament to the versatility and enduring relevance of Otto's invention. However, the legacy of Otto is not just about the engine he invented, it's also about the spirit of his work, the persistence to keep trying despite repeated failures, the innovation to think differently and challenge the status quo, the courage to transform an idea into a reality. These qualities which Otto embodied are timeless. They inspire inventors, engineers and dreamers today, reminding us that with persistence, creativity and courage, we too can change the world. The story of Nicholas August Otto is a story of how one man's invention can have a profound and lasting impact on our world. It's a story of how an idea, born in a small workshop in Germany, could transform the world and define the course of history. Otto's legacy is one of persistence, innovation and transformation. From a self-taught scientist to a world-changing inventor, Otto's story is one of unwavering determination and revolutionary invention. Born in a humble German town, Nicholas August Otto, despite his lack of formal education, dared to dream big. His curiosity and innate ability to understand mechanics led him on a path to create an invention that would revolutionize the world, the internal combustion engine. Let's take a moment to reflect on Otto's journey, a journey that began with an insatiable curiosity, driven by the mechanics of a simple toy, a journey that led him to develop an engine that would power the world. It's a journey that reminds us of the power of curiosity and the potential of the human mind, and what an invention it was. The four-stroke engine, or the Otto cycle as we now know it, was a masterpiece of engineering, a testament to Otto's genius. It combined efficiency and practicality characteristics that are still valued in today's engines. This invention not only propelled Otto into the annals of history, but also paved the way for the modern automotive industry. The impact of Otto's invention is beyond measure. It's not just about the cars on our roads or the planes in our skies. It's about the fundamental change in how we live and move. It's about the industries that were born and the, the jobs that were created. It's about the world as we know it today, a world that is unimaginable without Otto's invention. As we conclude, let's remember Otto not just as an inventor, but as a symbol of human potential and perseverance. His story is a testament to the power of curiosity, the importance of determination and the potential of the human mind. It's a story that inspires us all to dream big, to question and to innovate. Nicholas August Otto, an unsung hero of the modern world, reminding us that with curiosity and determination we can indeed change the world. Otto's story is just one of countless tales of human innovation. If you enjoyed this journey into the past, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating stories like this. Stay curious and who knows, perhaps the next revolutionary invention could come from you.